Hi. Next week, beginning on Sunday, the 9th of August, those in our congregation that are comfortable coming back to the building for worship will finally, after a bunch of months, have the opportunity to do so. And this video is designed to give you a short set of instructions, procedures for how to safely get into the building and conduct worship and to leave the building, minimize the risk of exposure to yourself and to others during this COVID-19 pandemic. When we sent the survey out to the congregation in June, we indicated that the green group would worship here in the auditorium and the yellow group would worship in the fellowship hall with the added protection of masks. That would be recorded services that they would be participating. We're actually going to go live next Sunday and we're excited to do so. Those of you that are going to remain at home, especially the red lighters, will have the opportunity to watch the live worship going on here in the auditorium next week. So that's fantastic. Additionally, Alabama's Public Health Department has strongly recommended that churches that do conduct on-site worship do so with the worshipers remaining in masks through the duration of the service. And on the advice of our COVID worship committee led by Ray Shore and decision of the elders, we have decided to enforce that standard. So in both the fellowship hall as well as the auditorium here, worship will be going on with masks on as well as safe separation. There really isn't much of a distinction then between the green and the yellow groups, and so we will be using the fellowship hall as an overflow when the auditorium fills up enough that we can bring more people in to safely worship. The elders want to remind everybody in the congregation that COVID-19 remains a very serious and potentially deadly virus at this time in Montgomery. For many of you, almost half of the congregation that responded as red light members, we, com we agree with and respect your decision to stay at home at this time. And we strongly recommend that you do so if you are over 60, if you have any underlying health issues whatsoever, and also if you are exhibiting any symptoms of any age for whatever reason in the days or the weeks leading up to worship services. Some of you may think that some of those steps that we outline in this short video may be a bit excessive. We would remind you to please be patient and understand that our goal is to have as many people as comfortable as possible able to return to worship and to demonstrate safely for the next several weeks at least that we can get through worship safely without transmitting COVID from one family. Thank you for your time. Let's move on with the instructional. And if you think about all the things that we have to do, it's going to require that people come to church a little bit earlier. I would plan to come about 15 or 20 minutes before the church service to make sure that you give yourself time to do the uh, distancing and the, and the masking and all the, uh, the uh, logistical stuff that has to be done. We want to try to make sure that everybody returns to service uh, as we want to, but do it in a way that's safe with consideration of the COVID-19 virus. One thing we have to do is make sure that coming out of the vehicle, people are aware that they need to go ahead and put their mask on. So put your mask on as soon as you come out of the car. And then uh, while in the parking lot, just try to keep your six uh, feet distance from people who are not within your family and then make your way into the building. And of course, there'll be some marking leading up into the building once you get to the uh, entrance that's six feet apart. So try to, if you're not in the same family, just stay six feet apart before you come into the building. Once you come into the building, uh, there's going to be someone there that's going to be taking names. So be prepared to give your name as the head of the household and the number of people that are with you. This is important because we're going to have to be able to do contact. Church. Once they take your name down, uh, there's going to be the uh, communion um, components laid out for you. Each person can grab their own communion component. And then there's a, a basket there for your, for your offering. If you're ready to give it at that time, make sure you uh, put that in the basket. And then there's going to be some hand sanitizer if you choose to use it. And so once you come past that door, there's gonna be another usher once you come inside to direct you to where to seat. And when, uh, when you come inside, the seating is gonna be set up so that there's gonna be people who are single or people who are couples or people who are family. We've uh, designated the seating in a specific way with six feet uh, separation so that we maintain the requirements of the CDC. And so uh, there will be somebody to guide you to the seating. They're gen generally gonna to try to uh, direct people towards the front first and then filling in towards the back, as well as um, filling in from the far end and then filling in the, uh, the, close, the parts closer to the door and in the back later. The services will be live. Uh, people who are not coming to the service will, be, will still be able to view the services live stream, but, but for those who uh, decide to come, uh, they can still uh, have singing, but the entire time that you're inside the church that you'll have to wear your mask, uh, 
except for when you're taking communion. Uh, well, singing, yeah, with the mask on, but except for when you're taking communion. After church service ends, there'll be someone up at the uh, front who will be directing uh, the uh, exiting. Uh, and it's going to be important to abide by that as well because we want to make sure that we exit from the area closest to the door first and then and, and from the back and then the front and far away from the door last. That way we can try to avoid a lot of people clustering at the door. Again, the exit will be trying to maintain six feet separation. Uh, there will be no uh, uh, daycare or, or nursery open uh, during the time frame of the church's uh, services. And also there will be no early morning Bible study. And of course, uh, execution will be all of us working together to make sure that we do everything we can to keep each other safe.